Give a string containing uppercase characters A to Z. Compress the string using run length encoding. The repetition of characters has to be replaced by storing the length of that run. Write a Python function which performs the run length encoding for a given string and returns the run length encoded string. Provide different string values and test your program. If the given string is so, it has to calculate 4a, 4b and 8c. So it has to tell number of a's followed by the letter. Then if the letter is different, then it has to start counting from b. Then when it, when it ends, right, then it has to uh, tell the number of times it's repeated, say it's, it's a 4, then the letter. C is there 8 times, then 8 C. If you look at this, 2 comes first, then letter changes, so 2 A, 1 B, then 2 C, and again 1 A. We should not take entire A's into total, but we'll, if there is a letter change, we will have to uh, stop counting uh, the letters now then f f again reset the counter to 1 then start counting the next letter that is how it has to be so the code is simple they have uh, got a method encode and a, a value was passed inside which now let's try with a very simple string then we will move on so let's take first two a's first let's look at the code so we need a counter which is going to count letter by letter if a is going to be continuous to then we will have to keep incrementing the counter. So in this example, we have got two A's, right? And we have a, a variable, another variable called result, uh, just an empty string. So we start from the message is the one which is which has the value, the double A. Currently, message has double A's. For i in range of 0, len of minus 1, we do not want this to iterate till the last character. If there are um, five letters, we want to execute this up to four letters. Why? Because we are going to perform some comparison current character with the next character. So the explanation is very simple. If we are going to take two letter uh, string, then we will perform one operation. Len minus one. Length is two. Two minus one is one. One iteration. So for first time, we will take current letter as A and the next letter is also A. We will be accessing the next element as well. So we take current letter as A, next letter is A, second letter is A. So we compare if this is equal to that, right? If the current letter is equal to next letter, then we will say count value, count, we will increment the counter by 1. So let's take uh, another string, ABC is another string. So length of ABC is 3, we know that. So length of ABC minus 1, that is, this will have two iterations. First iteration current letter is A and next letter is AB. Currently it is uh, pointing to A. Now we will access it with its index, right? Uh, look at this. Next character is equal to message of I plus 1. Message of I is pointing to A. The message of I plus 1 is pointing to B. So we are trying to access the next element in the string. Current letter is A. Next element is B. Fine. You compare with both. If not so, then we will move on to the next element. Second iteration. What will happen? Second iteration current letter will be B and the next element will be C. So the second iteration current element will be B and the third element will be C. Current character is message of I. So when I becomes 1, right? So when I was 0, the current was A. When I is 1, the current value will be B. Then we will access I plus 1. So we will have to access the element which is the third portion. So what if we are going to have three iterations? What will happen is current value will be third c right when the third iteration during third iteration current value will be c and what will be the next value so there is no next value exist so what will happen is it will throw index out of range so there are only three elements but we will try to access the fourth element so to avoid the index out of range error we have reduced the total length minus one so we will not look at we will not iterate if there are seven letters in a string we will not iterate the loops seven times but we will iterate six times when we are on the sixth time we should be able to access the sixth element as the current element seventh element as the next element but 
if you are going to have seven iteration in during the seventh iteration current element will, will be the seventh element and the next element has to be eighth element which does not exist that is why we have reduced length of this uh, message the length uh, the iterations by one length of message minus one so we've taken current character of message of i right message of i is talks to first element a next character is i plus 1 the next element if current character equal to equal to next character we will continue this process but only thing is we will have to increase increment the counter value when the current character is not equal to next character a a and the next character is b then it comes to else part so what happens we will have to take the result the result is empty string then count count we will have to, to perform concatenation count is integer we are converting as a string then we are adding. So result is initially it's empty string. Count value is two, two. Then what is the current character? Current character will have a. Two a will be added to the result. Then we will reset the counter. Let's look at this example. Right? We pass the two a. Right? Execute this, and we get two a. So we say two a b double b. Two a two b. If you add one c. Two a. To so let's visualize this to understand better. Program flow starts from function call encode. We pass the parameter there. You know, two a, two b, two c. So count value is initially one. Result is an empty string. For i, the value of i is zero currently. Current character is message of i. Message of i. Message of zero. So it points to a. Next character is message of one. I plus one we say. So that is also a. Right? Then if current character equal to equal to next character, yes. Then what happens? The value of count is getting incremented to 2. Then what happens? Value of i becomes 1. Now, when value of i becomes 1, current character is message of i. Message of 1. Current character is this a. Then next character. Next character is message of i plus 1. Then it will point to b. Look at this B. If current character equal to equal to no, it is they are not equal. Then what happens? It comes to else part. Now result will have two, the number count right, string of count, then current character two A. Result will have two A. Then we go up. The next value is B. And then the I value is I value value will be two. Message of two zero one two. So current value is B. The next value is also b right current character next both are same so what happens count value will get incremented to now what will happen um, i becomes 3 message of 3 0 1 2 3 current character is b the next character is c so they are not equal right current character equal to equal to next character no it comes to else part now we append now count as 2 result already has 2a 2a plus 2 current character b so 2a 2b then what will happen to the last iteration because we are not we most probably we will not touch upon the last element because in the loop we have mentioned len of message minus 1 it does not go to the last character so what will happen is just to add last character if that is going to be end of it just to add last character right for look ends right there it comes down just to add last character result of the result plus string of count count currently is one message of minus one this is a negative index and if you say negative index it will access access the last element so the message of minus one takes the last letter and add it to the result then the result value is so 2a 2b 1c that's about it